Hey guys, we're back at it out here. Um, today's gonna be really awesome. So in this video, we're gonna be marrying up the back half of the fuselage with the front half of the fuselage. Really looking forward to it, it's gonna be really cool. Um, in the background, you're probably watching me work on some of the floor plates and ribbing and some of the other stuff that is on the page before the great marrying of parts. Uh, lots of little stuff, again, match drilling, final drilling. Uh, temporarily installing things in order to drill some holes, then you got to take it all apart again. There's a lot of that here. It's okay. It's part of the process. Don't shortcut it. Don't try to put it together and just leave it together because you're going to just end up hating yourself if you do. So anyways, let's get to it. So right about here, you're looking at me realizing that, oh crap, it's time. It's time to actually marry the two parts, which means that the thing that I've kind of been delaying on, which is figuring out how I'm gonna mount this, you know, put it on a table or have some process by which the thing sits on its own, I've got to solve that now. And so uh, what I am doing is kind of looking at it, figuring it out, and then finally I decided to go ahead and f use my big heavy table. Now I am probably going to need to build another either temporary jig or something uh, in order to hold the plane while I work on it. Uh, there, this is a problem I'm gonna have to solve again once I marry the fuselage to the empennage, which is a much heavier process. So this is this is something that's coming. Um, but right now I've decided to go ahead and just use my main work table and I will sort that out, you know, the, the other thing uh, later. The problem right now I'm having is there's nobody on the airport to help me pick up that back end fuselage, flip it and put it on the table. Uh, could I manage it myself? Maybe. I don't want to risk it. I mean, it's just... It, it, that the the fuselage back half it's not that heavy i mean it's got it's 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 basically clamped to cinder blocks right now which like triples its weight but unclamped it's really not heavy or rough at all the heaviest part is that spar down there but it's just really awkward and bulky i, I just need somebody else out here to help me move it i will do that shortly as soon as i find somebody i'll get them to come out here in the meantime i've got a buttload of these spacers that go between uh, the, the the two big spars uh, that I need to prepare. Each one of them has bluing you got to pull off and they're rough. So these have just been, I don't know if they've been drilled or stamped out or whatever. They're pretty thick. So I'm going to guess they were, you know, cut and drilled, but I got to go through and prep all of these. There's 55 of them or whatever. So uh, going to be doing that while I wait and hope somebody shows up so I can actually, uh, you know, get some of this work done. Uh, then it's a, uh, it's about figuring out how to, how to do this. Like I said, everything's getting really big and heavy. Um, and so real, I need to come up with a jig. Someone had mentioned a jig, uh, for the fuselage. Yeah, please. You know, I'm a pretty good woodworker. I could, I could come up with something. Um, but if somebody has already invented plans, Hey, send them my way. I'd love to see them. So anyways, I'm going to go work on these now. So, um, based on what I just said, it occurs to me, you guys, <laughs> based on what I just said, it occurs to me that you guys uh, might think I'm preparing these blocks a little more rigorously than I actually am. Uh, as I understand it, these are just spacers, uh, temporary spacers that go between the fore and aft spar that's in the fuselage. And once you get everything you know, final drilled, match drilled, bolted together, riveted, etc. You remove these because the wing spars go where these are. Um, so these are just just a temporary, I think, positioning device to help you get everything correct. So all I'm doing is I'm literally I, I went and got a couple bolts, um, uh, seven sixteenths. I got a couple three inch seven sixteenths bolts. I've 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 uh, bolted them together and I'm just smoothing them out so that they're not quite as rough. Uh, height wise, this height should be the same height as the spar in the wing. Uh, so that's it. That's all I'm really doing with these. I'm not overdoing it. I'm not like 
you know, you could spend a lot of time preparing each of these. Uh, no, I'm, I'm literally just making sure the height is correct. So I did pull the bluing off to make sure the height was correct. And then I'm just taking the roughs off because, well, they're a little rough. <laughs> so that's all I'm doing here. All right, with that, holy crap. Um, so you saw me in the last little clip, probably just a second or two, my wife coming out and helped me flip this thing up onto here. Uh, I've gone through and I've put Clecos across the skin. So the, the skin on the bottom of this one and the skin on this one are now Cleco together. So now it's about getting these spacers put in here between these two spars and using these big old bolts to put it all together. Um, I'm going to have to get the bottom ones done first and then kind of lift this side up a little bit and then do the others and uh, get it all situated. This is, this is awesome. Uh, unreal, unreal how big it's getting. I mean, this is a big dang plane. <laughs> It's, the engine goes, you know, that much farther that way and, and that hooks up to the back of that. And this is, oh, this is so cool. So anyways, that's where I'm at. I'm gonna keep working on this thing and uh, keep making progress. Okay, so right here, you see me lifting up the back end of the fuselage to marry up the spars. The spars are in kind of a V shape just because of how it's sitting. And so it allows me to put the bottom one in. And then when I lift the back up, they, you know, they marry up so that I can put the top uh, spacers in with the bolt pins for lack of a better term. Now those are a little tight. So you have to kind of tap them in a little bit to get them in there. Um, you see me using just a little tack hammer and I'm not like whacking on it. I mean, I'm literally just tap, 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 tap. It's no big deal. But eventually I even think that's too much and I use a board and I kind of tap it in with a board. Um, once those are done though, I crank them down, get them all uh, tightened and bolted together. I only tightened the outside two initially, top and bottom, and then I went back and tightened all the rest of them just to make sure it was good and tight before I did my drilling. Uh, this is all preparation for match drilling all the parts. Um, eventually, uh, my buddy Lou shows up. So Lou is an AirLife pilot. He's a helicopter pilot who has offered to take me on some of his uh, ferry flights that he sometimes do. I am looking forward to that. I love helicopters. Uh, I would definitely own a helicopter if I could pilot one. Um, don't have the money to get that pilot's license. That's an expensive one. Anyways, he's got an amazing story. I would love to tell you about it here, but I don't have his permission, so I'm not going to. Uh, but it, it, it's one of those things where a lot of the people on this airport have these amazing backgrounds, like where they're coming from, how long they've been in aviation, what they've flown, what they've done in aviation. It's really, really cool. There's a there's a fellow on the very front row whose his story is mind boggling, and I'd love to go into it, but, it, but it's not my place to tell it. Um, but anyways, he came over here to, to help, to see if I need any help to help me, you know, do some stuff. And that is also, one of those things in aviation, you know, the community is very helpful. Everyone is amazingly helpful and nice. And he wanted to see if I wanted to help, which was pretty cool. Well, if you want to help, what you can do is you can click that like button and subscribe button down there. Um, if you want to receive notifications every time I put out one of these videos, click the bell icon, you'll get an email. And if you really want to help me, what you can do is you can jump it over to my Patreon page and for as little as a dollar a month, you can help support me. Think of it as just buying me a cup of coffee and letting me know that you want me to keep making these videos. I really appreciate it. It's amazing that you guys want to do that. Um, but that's probably the best way to help. I know some of you have asked to come out here. You're more than welcome to, uh, but I know some of you can't. Well, here you go. It's together. So this front area and back area of the fuselage are now combined together into one glorious piece. Um, no real issues here. Uh, the first thing I did is I went through and I put in the Clecos in the skin, which are down in here so that the all, you know, both skins are Clecoed, the skin that's on the front part and the back part. And that left this top area a little farther apart. This bottom area was just enough to get these spacers in here. Put the spacers in here and you saw me use a board and kind of tap them in to, to get them lined up and everything. <coughs> I've only got the front two uh, bolts 
fully tightened. I don't have the back two fully tightened uh, on either side. I just have them in for the time being. I will tighten them up in a bit before I start doing all my drilling. I've only got them in there now with all the, the various uh, uh, washers and whatnot just to keep stock where everything is. It is tight getting these bolts in, um, but I mean, it should be, right? So there's that. This side plate helps a lot with the stiffness. Uh, and now I have to go through and do a lot of match drilling of all the holes in the skins, which are in here and in here, which leads to the problem of how the hell do I have access to this? I'm gonna have to get up on a, you know, a step ladder or something and kind of bend over and get in here and work on it. Um, I am thinking about a jig. Uh, one of you had brought up the uh, possibility of sending me a jig, just email email it to me, but what I'm thinking of, and I've not seen what you got, yours, yours may be completely different, it may be a better idea, so I'm gonna wait before I do anything, but um, I think if I were to build something out of sufficiently stout wood that would effectively take the place of these spacers, it would fit in between here, and then this would rest on it, and then the table could basically be lowered, so everything would be, be held up by these spars here, I think, I mean, that's, if you think about it, when the plane's flying, everything is being held up by these spars. So I think that that is probably what I'll do is build a jig around that. Um, and that will help. I, I think that will make things a lot easier because right now it's really awkward to get to stuff. Um, I may need to wait though, because I think, I'm pretty sure after I do all the final drilling, one of the steps is gonna be pulling it all apart. So. Um, again, there's a lot of putting things together and taking th things apart. You can't just put it together in one time and leave it forever because there's many steps. Like I haven't dimpled these skins yet and I know that's coming. So um, anyways, so yeah, uh, very cool. I am, I'm super excited. I want a plane and I'm getting closer to having one. So awesome. And now I have to take my Jeep to the shop. It seems like every day something has come up that has taken me out of here early. And today it's uh, oil change day, so. Yay, fun. <laughs> and right here, I'm going through and I'm doing all the match drilling. So this is the part where I had to get up on a stool and kind of reach over. This plane is pretty wide, uh, but I had to go through and do all the match drilling, get all the holes drilled. It still amazes me that Vans has managed to get all the holes like they just magically line up. I don't know how they do that, but they magically line up. Uh, so uh, doing all the drilling and everything and getting ready to do the next part. The next part is gonna be disassembling everything again. Remember I told you there's a lot of assembling and disassembling. So I'm gonna be disassembling everything again and doing all the dimpling, countersinking, and all that other stuff. So that's where we're at right now, guys. That's where I'm gonna end this one. Thank you so very much for sticking around. I do have another video that is coming out, I think at the same time as this one, where I'm unboxing my Avio Engineering Zip Tips. Really looking forward to it. Thank you all a bunch. See you next time.